Welcome to the last safe city on Earth, the only place the Traveler can still protect. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. And this tower is where the Guardians live. All right, here we are. Now, um, we just saw the Traveler. If, in case you don't know, a basic, this is, yeah. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I'm, I, I, I want to collect my thoughts as I dance with this guy and just ponder with him. <laughs> that was so cool. That guy just popped up. I'm gonna point at you. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. These are live people here who are experiencing the game themselves. They're doing their own thing. I'm doing my own thing. This is cool. Hi. But the Traveler here, what was I going to say? In case you missed it in the opening cutscene, we found the Traveler on Mars. And uh, it came to Earth with us and it sparked the golden age of uh, space exploration. Now, this is my guy. He looked better in the character creation screen. I'm sorry you guys couldn't see that. It sort of resembles me, but eh, you know what I mean? I decided to create a human because Earth is our home. It, it wouldn't make sense to me to be another race of species trying to save Earth. Although I appreciate other species trying to help us save Earth, you know? That's kind of cool. That's good. Matter of fact, this lady here, this warlock vanguard, kind of looks like my character. Stay safe. Only in female form. Oh my goodness. That is kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, what is this? Equip that. Ah, I see. You know, the game is just showing us how to browse through our inventory and stuff like that. Town gunsmith. All right. This is so cool. Like, all these people here, it kind of looks a little bit like World of Warcraft, you know? How you can see their name and see them doing their own thing. And you're doing your own thing on your own quest. I, that's how I see the MMO aspect of it. Although I know it's not a full-fledged MMO. I don't know if you could ever do that on console, so... Look at all these folks. We're all noobs together, probably doing the same thing. First time was incompetence. This is sabotage. Get to the bottom of this. Now this pulse rifle. I've seen a lot of people play with it. I like it, and it seems to be a, a favorite so far. Uh, I'm not really a auto cannon or kind of sniper guy, so... Pulse rifle it is, I think. Yeah, that looks good to me. 26 attack, all that. Yeah, let's do that. The only game I'm good in sniper with is, uh, or with sniper with, or uh, whatever you want to say, is Halo, ironically. I've just, uh, I've been playing a lot of Halo 3 recently, and I've been gaining my Halo 3 sniper back. Halo 3 sniper... Is the hardest of the Halo snipers on 360. So out of reach, Halo 4, Halo 3, Halo 3 sniper is the hardest to get good at. And I'm gaining my skill back on that. So it's kind of fun. Um, Re Reach and Halo 4, they have similar snipers, but those are the easiest snipers in the Halo series to get good at. And I'm putting my air quotes up. Okay, who is this here? Shipwright. Okay, do we equip that somehow? No, look at that guy. He was just standing behind me all. Ah, I'm gonna stand behind you like. Yeah, what is this? Not enough glimmer. Jeez, these ships are expensive. Wow. Not, Take care of that ship for me. not nearly enough glimmer. So we're going to go back up here. This is definitely going to be a unique gameplay, something I haven't done before on this channel. I'm going to try to get through the story as much as I can, as quick as I can. But obviously this game has potential to spawn multiple videos just with the side stuff alone, you know? So... Yeah. I love this uh screen here, you know, this especially the music here on this orbit screen, you know. 
All right, so let's do a mission. Level two story. Return to fallen territory and hunt for parts to restore your ship's ability for interplanetary travel. Ah, that sounds good. And it's a level two. We're level two, right? So that shouldn't be too hectic. Um, shouldn't. What else? That's the only thing we have right now. So, yeah, I think we should launch it, right? Don't you agree? Listen to this music right here in orbit. The Channing, man. Halo had its iconic Channing. I feel like, well, I don't know if this is really chanting, you know, but. There's so little left out here. We were lucky to even find this ship. A Guardian can't do much to protect the city with that one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find one. We survived the Fallen once. We can do it again. Yeah, but it, it kind of has, they're trying to create their own sort of atmosphere with the music and I appreciate that. A Guardian ship was recently shot down here. If the Fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be parts we can salvage. Okay, see our current objective here? You know, nice. I'm liking it. We can't summon anything. We don't have a, what is it called, a sparrow yet? Look at this guy. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go help him a bit. <laughs> Lord, what is it, Feely or something? Freely, something like that. Okay, so let's deploy our ghost here. Ship avionics are completely catatonic, but I can call their last transmission. Also, he or she has to deploy their ghost as well. I like how you can see that in real time. Like even though we were together side by side. They managed to restore an information hub here. Down in the tunnels below. We should check it out. Alright, the tunnels. But even though we were side by side, he still had to do it himself in order to complete the objective, you know? That's kind of cool. Okay, over there. Let's run. For however long this person stays with me, I will cherry- Oh! I did not see you, Mr. Fallen. What is it? Vandal something? I don't know. I couldn't read that. Too much awesomeness going on in one place. Oh, geez. Yep, vandals. And there's another person over there. This is cool how it just drops them in. Like, this is a story m game, right? Or, well, this is a story mission that I'm playing. Yet it drops people right in, you know? And they're doing their own thing. I'm doing mine. This is cool. This is definitely something I haven't seen before on console. At least this seamlessly thus far, you know. Thanks, buddy. Map of the entire area. What we really need to find is a warp drive, so we can jump to any planet or moon. The way Peter Dinklage says moon. Our only hope is where we found our ship. We have to go back. You don't mess with the dink. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I see Bungie have us retread through areas we've already been. Lazy gameplay, or game design, I should say. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Dude, I'm just really feeling this right now. Maybe it's just the full newness that I just got my Xbox One today. And the fact that I'm playing a new game on a new system. To me, this is next gen. My first foray into next gen. But I'm just really feeling this right now, you know? This is really cool. Alright, over here. Can we sprint forever? It doesn't feel like we're running out. That's kind of cool. 
We're still with this Lord guy or a girl for right now. Scanning for the warp drive. Bad news. It's already in fallen hands. Jump. Ah. That sucks. I hope you're ready for this. Darkness zone. If you die in a darkness zone, you'll be returned to the start of it. Jeez. <sighs> I guess we won't die now. Oh, so this is the part that I saw up to in the live stream, and then I quit after that. But uh, the, when I when the guy got here in the live stream on Twitch, it was sort of like he was really overcautious, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna be overcautious, and it took him a long time. It. Even though he's a professional, I, I think it was, I, I, I can't remember which channel it was, but even though I think he was uh, in, in the industry, it really seemed like he didn't know much about FPSs or how to play them per se. Like, you just gotta, sorry to use the term, but you just gotta YOLO it sometimes, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hate using the term YOLO, but eh. All right, so just clear out some enemies here. I'm assuming the wharf or assuming, depending on where you live and, and if you want to pronounce it, assume. But I'm assuming that there's a warp drive here. Ooh, geez, big hoss. Yeah, I'm liking it. I really am. Guy is mad at us. These darn aliens trying to wipe out all of humanity? Why? <laughs> so, uh, something I was considering before is that, uh, since this game is so open, and I know one of my friends on my 360, or not my 360, um, my friends list has Destiny on the 360. Obviously, I can't play with him. Um, it's not a uh, inner console, you know, you can't play with someone on 360 with an Xbox One copy. But, I, I think at least two of my friends have it on Xbox One, so who knows, maybe there might be some surprise guests in future videos popping in and out if we can get them on my fire team. But, I usually do story parts of games solo dolo, you know, because... Especially, especially on YouTube, it's so personal, you know? I'm connecting with my viewers and we're experiencing this for the first time together. Unless you've already played Destiny and you're just watching me for the fun of it. And then, I, if that's the case, I thank you, you know? But who knows who pops up. I might play with some random guy and we might stick together for a while. Who knows? Right now, the possibilities seem almost endless, so... And as you can see right now, I'm just trying to juke this guy, since he's big. I was trying to get... It's kind of hard to talk when you're trying to fight big, kind of boss-like guys. I mean, it doesn't seem like he's a boss, per se, but boss-like guys, you know, like, leader of the pack. That's what he is. He's hard to kill. He has shields. So I just had to finish my thought there. Get this Vandal. Yeah, I love that. That's so satisfying. Why are they so angry at us? And you know, that's the good thing. Um, something about me, I have the wikis open to all my favorite games. Or, or, or not open, but favorited. And have on easy access on Google Chrome, so I can just click on them if I want to read stuff. So I have the Halo wiki favorited. I have Mortal Kombat wiki favorited. And be honest, I'm a fan of the Dead Rising series, so I have the Dead Rising wiki activated. I didn't even realize I was almost dead. <laughs> Entirely, at least. I just saw him kind of do his stompy thing. And I also have the Destiny now wiki on easy access, so it's just click. And if I ever want to read stuff on it, I can go click in the wiki and research stuff, you know? 
but the, the cool thing about Destiny being so new is that none of us really know anything about it except the developers. They know everything. They probably don't know how we're going to play play it, but that's probably the only thing they don't know about it, you know? So it's so cool. And also, I remember when uh, Halo 4 came out, the Bungie guys tweeted out congratulations to 343. So I'm wondering if 343 has tweeted out, or maybe not even if tweeted out, but sent over congratulations to Bungie, you know? Because I know they're in the same exact building that Bungie used to be when they were under Microsoft. So it's kind of like, hey, I'm going to move into your house. But, uh, what is it? <laughs> um, I'm sure those guys have some friends in each other's respective studios. We got them. So, yeah. You just killed an Archon, and we got a warp drive. This could cripple the Fallen. We need to go see the speaker. I'd be surprised if uh, 343 hasn't sent any over any form of congratulations to Bungie, you know? Alright, so, mission has ended. Nice. I think we're gonna dance. To what? The beat of our own drums. Okay. <laughs> Glide. We we almost have glide. All right. Twenty-seven kills, seven precision kills, four ability kills. That's good. I like. 